Well, good morning and welcome today to this episode, this lesson of our Discover Lounge. Today, we will be looking at our mission and our ministry, more specifically, our time. Three major elements of our usage, of our work, of our time ministry, however you want to say it, time, talent, treasure. I, I want to take a look at our time. And our time is valuable to us. And I'm going to get into a couple of cliches on that in just a minute. But stick around. We'll be right back in today's episode of Discover Lounge. We'll see you in just a minute. Time. Time is of the essence. <laughs> okay, i got to quit with the cliches, but I've actually got a page that I want to tell you about the cliches about time. But we want to look at time today. We want to spend our time, okay, on what we want to be able to do today is time. So, the use of time. A couple of points to make about time. Time marches on. Time waits for no man. A stitch in time saves nine. Okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm done with the cliches. I'm, I'm finished apart from the cliches. The utilization of time sometimes escapes us. What do I mean by that? We spend a lot of time doing things. I'm going to borrow from Franklin Covey for a moment. He talked about the four areas when it comes to, to leadership, service, and the like. He talks about four, four different areas. And one of the things he talks about in his four areas simply is this. As soon as I get back to this. All right, four areas of doing things, assigning priorities on doing things. What do we do? Well, the first quadrant, first most important is most important, most urgent. Second quadrant, urgent but not important. Third quadrant, not important or not urgent but important. And then the fourth quadrant is not important, not urgent. And what do we spend most of our time on or in? Which quadrant? Not important, not urgent. Sometimes people have challenges in facing the most important things and the things that are urgent to get done. We face our problems in getting these things done, and that's what we seem to be running. The utilization of time escapes us. And we always say the phrase, we seem to be running out of time. I think we, we need to be focused upon the utilization of our time. Um, and how do we keep it from running away from us? And then the last one is, and there never seems to be enough of it. Okay, there, there's a reason why there never seems to be a, a, enough of time. It takes management. Knowing what to do and when to do it. Knowing for whom to do it and when to do T, it, and knowing the priorities. And I think that's one of the reasons why I brought up Stephen Covey today, that we need to look at how we use our time. Now, time is a precious commodity because we use it either for ourselves, for other people, and God. Those are the three there are three people for whom we use our time. And the other challenge that we face is, how do we do it? What are we doing in that time period? Are we frittering it away, or are we using it in a productive manner? See, what I want to help us to focus on, first of all, is taking that time that we do have and focusing it on in a productive manner. A, a, a usage of time that's going to be beneficial to both other people and myself. It's going to give us 
benefits on both sides of the coin. Okay, so let's move forward now as we continue to move on in our use of time. Knowing the priorities. What is most important? What is the most urgent? And the like. So a couple of ideas about the use of our time. Well, first of all, let's spend some time with God. Um, God says in his first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me. Okay, so God is saying in the very first commandment, I want you to, to focus on, on your relationship with me. So spend time with God. Now, how do we do that? What, what are our areas of time usage when it comes to using it with God? Well, worship, as I said, showed in there in the outline. Study. Now, that can be corporate study, meaning with other people. That can also mean study individually. Spending time in private devotion and prayer. Those are wonderful, wonderful things. Spending time in private devotion and prayer. Uh, spending time with God in service for the sake of other people. I'm going to use as an example coming up this Saturday morning. Love to see you here. Uh, our, let's spend some time helping people with food. Uh, we're going to be distributing food from 8 to 11 this coming Saturday morning. Um, be here by 7.15, help set up and get ready for it. But it's a great use of time of interacting with people. So spend time with God. Spend time with other people. How do we use our time uh, and, and the like? So what's the next bullet on our point here? Well, spend time with family and friends, family activities and enjoyment. One of the things that I think is of great importance to us, and that is being in community. Now, time with family, friends, uh, this is where you can go to ball games. This is where you go to picnics. This is vacations uh, and fill in the blank <laughs> for whatever else it could be. Um, these are the things where we value the time that we have with our family. This is where we connect. This is where we uh, build. This is where we just have enjoyment. Uh, family, the greatest place in which to en enjoy each other's time. Uh, Ephesians 5 talks about the structure of the family. At core is mom and dad and God running in the middle and intertwining himself and then the children and then work and then everything else on top of that. So the core of family, the core of life in a lot of regards is God within our family. Okay, there's a whole other study I want to, I can do on that, but I'll save that for another day and time. So, spend time with God. Spend time with family and friends. Spend time on yourself. And there's that delicate balance. Okay, what am I spending my time on myself in? Enjoyment, perhaps. Uh, hobbies. Uh, time around the house. Uh, you can fill in the blank as far as what you do in the context of time with yourself. The bottom line here is there is time to do all three. Spend time with God, spend time with family and friends, and spend time with yourself. There is time in order to do it, and it does take management of management of our time in order to pull all this thing off with a great deal of efficiency. So let's move on. What does spending time with God look like? Now that's just the focus of <laughs> our time here, because I can just talk about it, but the reality is let's live it. You know, time is a wonderful thing. And the opportunities that God gives for us to be with us as a church is just wonderful. So here at Faith, how does spending time with God look like? Well, Sunday worship at 1030 every week. Uh, Sunday, Wednesday worship during the seasons of Advent and Lent at 6.30 p.m. Sunday study for God's word, of God's Word for both children and adults starting at 9.15. It's available for all ages. That, that's, Sunday, that's Sunday morning and that's Wednesday evening. That's the times where we gather together. Uh, we've got fellowship stuff coming up as well. Bible studies. This is the time when we can gather together in order to learn and grow from God. 
Well, we've got a Starbucks study at uh, the Starbucks that's right there at Highway 30 and, and uh, Interstate 45 every Monday morning at 8.15. We've got our men's group at, here at Faith in the Fellowship Hall at 7 a.m. We've got our women's group, same room, but at noon on Tuesday. We have our BYOB and b Bring Your Own Bag and Bible on Wednesdays at 5.30, except for the time where we have our Advent and Lent services and meals. We have times of fellowship. We have two women's circles, the Circle of Charity and the Circle of Love. Uh, both are on Monday, but one's on every third Monday at 10 a.m., the other one's on every second Monday at 5.30 p.m. So we get one meet in the morning, one meet in the evening. Here at Faith, what does spending time with God look like? Servant events, food distribution on the second Saturday of every month. That's the one that I was just talking about. There are more that I could list. Um, if you are into quilting, for example, the we have a group of ladies currently that are making quilts that we send all around the world. You've seen that before. Uh, spend some time with one another in that. The other thing is I did not address on the outline, and that is the meals before the Advent and Lenten services that are at 5.30. Spend time with that. The possibilities are endless. This, this is what I'm kind of getting at. Your time, the usage of your time, is how a disciple how a, a person of God in Christ Jesus looks at his or her life. Now, I can spend all my time making money, or I can spend all my time making, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm borrowing from the, the eagles out of one song. On, on what do we spend our time? Now, I'm not saying everybody has to be involved in everything. If I was going to make an urgent and high priority and important uh, plug on what do we spend most of our time on in the context of our time with God. Love to see you on Sunday morning, every Sunday morning at 1030. Love to see you here. Uh, also, I'd love to see you in some form of a study. It doesn't matter which one. It can be Sunday morning. It can be Monday morning. It can be Tuesday morning, Tuesday at, Tuesday at noon, Wednesday evening. Love to see you engage with others. That's corporately. Individually, I can recommend that we can you, you spend a moment, you get up, spend 10, 15 minutes just reading out of a book of a Bible. It doesn't take much. Just spend time with God in study and prayer. Uh, stay, spend time with God in conversation with other people. The, the possibilities are endless on how we use our time. So, if you have any comments, any questions, any thoughts, please let them, me know below in the comments section below. I'd love to engage in a dialogue with you about your time and your usage of time. How do you use time and how do you use time effect effectively? And all others. I mean, I could spend days on this topic, but we really only have a few minutes. So let me know what you think. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Let your friends know about not only this series on Discover Lounge, but all the other series that we have here on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, please ring the bell. Uh, let, let you know that there's another one, and please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you be a part of our ministry here at Faith through our YouTube channel. Okay, I think I've done enough advertising for one morning. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye -bye.